Hello, my dear children. Myself Sujata. How are you all? Hope you have revised all the previous chapters. In this session, we will be learning a new chapter from geography, physical features of India. You have already learned that India is a vast country with varied landforms. Okay, what kind of terrain do you live in? If you live in the plains, you are familiar with the vast stretches of plain land. In contrast, if you live in hilly region, the rugged terrain with mountains and valleys are common features. So in this session, let us discuss about India, its vast and varied landforms and its evolution. How these physical features that is mountains, plains, deserts, plateaus and islands have been formed. Formation of different types of rocks, color of soil, causes of these variations. What modified the relief to its present form? Theories related to the formation of physical features. Formation of mountain system of Western Asia and Himalaya. Formation of the Northern Plains of India. Okay, you all know that India is a vast country with varied landforms. India has practically all major physical features of the earth. The major physical features of India include mountains, plains, plateaus, islands, deserts, etc. India is a large landmass formed during different geological periods which has influenced her relief. The processes like weathering, erosion and deposition have created and modified the relief to its present form. You have learned all these in your smaller classes. Okay, what is weathering? Weathering is the breaking down or dissolving of rocks and minerals on earth's surface. And erosion transports the bits of rock and minerals away results in the deposition of these bits of rocks. So these processes like weathering, erosion, deposition have created and modified the relief to its present form. Okay, what are the different types of rocks? Some are very hard like marble which has been used for making the Taj Mahal. Some are very soft like soapstone which is used in making talcum powder. So different types of rocks include igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rock. What is igneous rock? Igneous rocks are formed through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. As hot molten rock rises to the surface, it undergoes changes in temperature and pressure that causes it to cool, solidify and crystallize. Example of igneous rock includes basalt, granite, etc. Okay, what are metamorphic rocks? Metamorphic rocks arises from the transformation of existing rock types subjected to heat and pressure. Metamorphic rocks make up a larger part of the earth's crust and form 12% of the earth's land surface. Example, slate, marble, etc. What are sedimentary rocks? Sedimentary rocks are formed on or near the earth's surface due to erosion, weathering, precipitation, dissolution and lithification. The color of the soil varies from one place to the other because soil is formed out of different types of rocks. Most of these variations are caused due to differences in rock formations. For example, in Maharashtra, black soil and red soil can be seen. In Madhya Pradesh, you can see red soil. So a list of different types of soils are given in the map and you can have a closer understanding of it. Earth scientists have attempted to explain the formation of physical features 
with the help of some theories based on certain evidences one such plausible theory is the theory of plate tectonics according to this theory the crust or upper part of the earth has been formed out of seven major and some minor plates a tectonic plate is also called lithospheric plate it is a massive irregularly shaped slab of solid rock composed of both continental and oceanic lithosphere plate size can vary from few hundred to thousands of kilometers across the pacific and antarctic plates are largest seven major plates accounts for 94% of the surface area of earth seven major plates include the african antarctic eurasian north american south american indo australian and pacific plate and minor plates include arabian caribbean nazca and scotia plate okay so as we said earth's crust is divided into seven major and some minor plates plates are continuously floating on magma leading to folding faulting and volcanic activities due to the movement of plates various changes occurs so the movement of the plates results in the building up of stresses within the plates and the continental rocks above leading to folding faulting and volcanic activity these plate movements are classified into three types some plates come towards each other and form convergent boundary some plates move away from each other and form divergent boundary in the event of two plates coming together they may either collide and crumple or one may slide under the other at times they may also move horizontally past each other and form transform boundary the movements of these plates have changed the position and size of the continents over millions of years such movements have also influenced the evolution of the present landform features of india okay now study the direction of arrows for the close understanding of the movement of plates when the plates come towards each other they form convergent boundaries example himalayas himalayas are formed by convergence of into australian plate against eurasian plate when the plates move away from each other they form divergent boundary example the north american plate diverge from the eurasian plate and when some plates move past each other they form transform boundary the western half of california is moving north because it is part of the pacific plate and eastern half of california is moving south because it is part of north america so as we discussed earlier earth's crust is divided into seven major and some minor plates and these plates are continuously floating on magma and that leads to folding faulting and volcanic activities due to the movement of these plates various changes occurs and it resulted in the formation and evolution of the present landform features of india now let us discuss about the formation of himalayas gondwana land is the southern part of the ancient supercontinent pangaea with ankara land in the northern part the oldest land mass that is the peninsular part was a part of the gondwana land the gondwana land included india australia 
South Africa, South America and Antarctica as one single landmass. According to the theory of plate tectonics, the Earth's crust was initially a single giant supercontinent called Pangaea. The convectional current split the crust into number of pieces. The movement of the molten material below the Earth's crust caused the crust or the lithosphere to break up into a number of large fragments called lithospheric or tectonic plates. It led to the drifting of the Indo-Australian plate from Godwana land towards north. The northward drift resulted in the collision of the plate with a much larger Eurasian plate. Most volcanoes and earthquakes in the world are located at the plate margins and some do occur within the plates. So the drifting and collision of these plates resulted in the accumulation of sedimentary rocks in the geo sink line known as the Tethys and were folded to form the mountain system of Western Asia and Himalaya. Geo sink line, the linear trough of subsidence of the earth's crust within which vast amounts of sediment got accumulated. The filling of a geo sink line with thousands or tens of thousands of feet of sediments accompanied in the last stages of deposition by folding, crumpling and faulting of the deposits. Let us discuss about the formation of northern plains of India. The Himalayan uplift out of the Tethys Sea and subsidence of the northern flank of the peninsular plateau resulted in the formation of a large basin. In due course of times, this depression gradually got filled with the deposition of sediments by rivers flowing from the mountains in the north and the peninsular plateau in the south. A flat land of extensive alluvial deposits led to the formation of northern plains of India. Okay, hope you have understood what we have discussed. Let us sum up. We have discussed about the physical features of India, how they have been formed, different types of rocks and how it results in the color of the soil, theory of plate tectonics, formation of Himalayas and northern plains. Okay, now go through the textbook, try to read it, see the slides repeatedly and meet you in the next session with major physiographic divisions of India. Thank you.